What's happening everybody? This is Phil from MDC and welcome to another episode of Treasure Hunt Tuesday, guys. Um, once again, Hot Wheels had to throw a wrench in the system and change things up again. Okay, so instead of having the regular Treasure Hunts for 2013, excuse me guys, had some chili tonight. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So instead of having the regular treasure hunts like uh, all the years before, Hot Wheels has changed it and uh, for 2013 uh, they decided to do the secret treasure hunts. Not the super secret supers, that's still going on, but they changed the treasure hunts, okay? Now from the cars having a TH on them and a green package which was easy to spot, Hot Wheels decided to use a circle flame. Okay, the Circle Flame logo was to tell you that you would found a, a hidden regular treasure hunt. Okay, now the Super Treasure Hunts still bear the TH, but the regulars for 2013 do not. They have the Circle Flame. Okay, now this is probably, well not probably, this is going to be the last episode of that I do regular treasure hunts, okay? Because after 2013, <clears throat> I decided I wasn't going to collect the Circle Flames anymore because 2014, 2015, yeah, so on and so on, they started to do a lot of fantasy castings as regular treasure hunts. And I really didn't have the place in my collection to start adding a, a ton of fantasy castings, nor did I really even want to collect them, okay? I really didn't. So I continued with the Super Treasure Hunts, and I left the Circle Flames behind. Now, for 2013, I did almost complete the regular Treasure Hunts. Uh, there was one I did not pick up, and it was called, I believe... Uh, bad to the blade okay and it really just wasn't a casting I was interested in and I decided at that point that I really didn't want to collect the rest all right <clears throat> sorry about that guys so from now from now on in the Tuesdays are going to be more super treasure on Tuesdays okay and I will just go over the supers and their uh, regular parts okay but I will exclude the regular treasure hunts because I just don't have them. All right. So with that being said, we're going to set up the trusty turntable. We're going to take a look at 2013, which, as I said, I'm only missing one regular treasure hunt. But the supers, we are complete. All right. So let's set everything up and let's take a good look at 2013, guys. All right. So guys, what starts the 2013 set, um, if you go by the book, it says that the uh, the Dodge Challenger is the first one that came out, the drift car, but I don't believe it was, okay? I believe that the first one that was released for 2013 regular treasure hunt was the bread box, okay? Now the bread box... As you can see, right there is the circle flame. That is the new symbol of the regular treasure hunt, which still holds water today. Okay, in 2022. The regulars are still found by this symbol. All right. So here is number one for 2013, guys, and it is the bread box. Let me straighten you guys out. There we are. And as you can see, it's uh, definitely a bit of a strange casting. Blue tinted windows everywhere. You can see the interior. And yeah, a bit of a crazy casting. Anyway, moving on, number two. We do have the Dodge Challenger drift car. And as you can see under the Mopar sign on the front quarter, is the Circle Flame Treasure Hunt. And this car I thought was cool. I really enjoyed this car and I still do to this day. The Dodge Challenger Drift Car is definitely a plus. 
Good looking car. Now, number three is the Ford Mustang concept in this matte blue police livery. And this one's kind of cool because the whole top part is plastic see-through with the windows and everything, which makes the light bar, which was pretty, pretty cool that other way they did that Hot Wheels. Okay. And this one, the circle and the flame is hidden pretty well. Ah, right there on the back fender. Right there, guys. So as you can see, this one was a bit hard to spot. And that is the Ford Mustang concept, guys. Now, the next car, number four on the list, is a fantasy casting in golf livery. And we have the Fast Fish. I have no idea why they called it the Fast Fish, but... That is what this car is called. And it is in golf livery. Tinted windows. And there's your treasure hunt symbol on the front border as well. Orange plastic base. Metal body. And a chrome interior. Which makes up the engine. And that is the Fast Fish guys. Next we have... Another fantasy casting, and it is the Carbonator. Now, we all know that the Carbonator is actually a bottle opener. And completely in plastic except for the base. There's your Treasure Hunt logo right beside the word Carbonator. And yeah, moving on. Moving on, we have the Camaro 2010 SS Police Livery. And there's your circle and flame right beside the police word. And this one was done pretty cool. You have the push bar. Not a bad looking little treasure hunt, this one. Love it all in black. Blue tinted windows. Very nice car. Next, we have the Circle Tracker. Or is it the Circle Trucker? The Circle Trucker, guys. This one. And this one here, as you can see, the Treasure Hunt logo is a little bit harder to see. It's right there. Okay. Full graphics. Pretty nice green on this thing. Gray plastic base. And there's the Circle Trucker, guys. So as you can see, Hot Wheels made it a little bit difficult to find the treasure hunts in 2013 because we just weren't used to looking for a Circle and Flame. So a lot of these were getting passed up right away. And then the massive hunt halfway through the year for all of these older ones. Next, we have the 64 Lincoln Convertible. In this real lowriders crazy look. Full pin graphics. And your TH on one of the suicide doors. Gold rims. Nice chrome bumpers. Pretty decent car. Really big car. And next in line, we have another fantasy casting, the Stingrod 2. Kind of, I guess, a military off-road crazy machine. And your circle and flame on here is, let me straighten the guns up. There we go. Can we straighten them up? There we are. And your circle and flame is only on one side because it doesn't show on this side. But it is on that side right there. This one has a plastic base, 
metal body and that's your sting rod too guys next one is another fantasy casting and it's the H2O I believe it's the H2O prototype H24 sorry guys the prototype H24 definitely a very crazy looking casting and the circle and the flame you can see just under the exhausts on the side in red very small so as you can see Hot Wheels was really diverse uh, diver going the way to fantasy castings guys the next one is the 77 Dodge van custom 77 Dodge van and this TH logo was very hard to find guys <coughs> now this truck is full graphic and as you can see right on the back on one of the arrows it has the treasure hunt logo kind of hidden so it was a little bit harder to find this one and the fact being, they only put it on the one side. Is that right? Or has mine come off? It looks like, no, it wouldn't have come off. You would see the whole thing. They only put it on the one side. And that being, if this is in the blister, this is the side that's showing. So finding out that this one is a treasure hunt was pretty well, almost impossible. You had to know. Okay. As you can see, the Treasure Hunt logo is there. A little bit crazy. And that is the 77 Dodge Van. Next in line, we have the Fire Eater in this white. And the Treasure Hunt logo is right in the front of the flames. The front flames, it's right on the front. And that one's pretty small as well. And that's the fire eater, guys. Next in line, we have the Ford Fiesta 2012. And this one is pretty sweet. That's a nice looking casting. And I thought this was a pretty cool treasure hunt. I'm not all crazy about the orange bumper. But uh, it could have been black. But And this one here as you can see right beside the 8. Is the treasure hunt logo. But overall it's a pretty decent looking car. Ten spokes actually look good on it. Okay, now, the one that comes after this is the bad to the blade, which I do not have, guys. So we're going to skip the number 15, which is the Mazda RX-7. And this is a good-looking treasure hunt. That is a very nice-looking treasure hunt, guys. Love the colors. Blue tinted windows. Matches the blue striping. Just a great little car. Okay. Now we're going to move into the Super Treasure Hunts guys. And their mainline counterpart. Alright. So we'll start off with the mainlines and shoot down the Supers. Starting with number one. And we do have the 69 Camaro. In this beautiful red, beautiful white interior, five spokes, good looking mainline. And now we have the super. And you guys will notice, like I said in my other video, the supers seem to get a lot of top striping okay 
which the regulars don't have. So as you can see, it has the stripes down the center on the top. And it's got the stripes on the hood and on the trunk. And the regular did not get these, okay? Plus, obviously, the, the Spectra Flame color and the mags, big change. But you'll notice that the striping all over the top is one of the main things that the Supers got over the regulars. And I do love this Super, guys. It is just gorgeous. Next in line we have, we'll get these off to the side, off to the side, and we have the 72 Gran Torino Sport in this gorgeous blue can and livery. That's your regular version. Looking real good. And now we'll spin the Super Treasure Hunt in the Spectra Flame Blue. A bit of a deeper blue. Rubber wheels. Looks like they came to this, kept the same mags. But we have the rubber. Gorgeous looking car. Gorgeous looking Torino, guys. And there we are. And as you can see, it's got the stripes on the on the hood. Looking good. Moving on to number three. And number three we have the 69. 69, I really don't think so. The 09. Okay. 2009. Corvette ZR1. Oh, I'm showing you the Super first. Naughty, naughty. No, no, no. We're going to look at the regular first. And there she is. And this bright red. Ten spoke rims. Plastic wheels. And the car looks good as is. But I already spoiled you. Let's pull it out. Here's the Super Treasure Hunt, guys. And she's just sweet. As you can see, the TH logo. Well, I didn't show you the TH logos on the other cars, huh, guys? But the TH logo is only on one side of this one. And once again, it's on a side you don't see in the package, guys. Okay? But the rim and paint really give it away anyway. There's your TH logo. And there's your regular and super. Huge difference. Huge difference. Okay. Moving on. We have number four. And number four is the 73 Ford Falcon. We got in this yellow, mustard yellow. And this one is a nice car. The Ford Falcon XB, guys. And it's decent looking as a regular. Bit of a metal flake mustard yellow. And then we got the Super Treasure Hunt, which got this bronze color. There's the TH on the back quarter. So we got a Spectra Flame bronze on this one. And again, we got the stripe on the hood. Really, really pretty. Super, guys. And another big change. Okay, moving on. Number five. Number five, we have the 71 El Camino in this orange. And this El Camino looks 
really mean. It's a really nice looking El Camino. I think Cobb Wheels did an amazing job on this car. Just looks fantastic. And I really like these rims on it. Beautiful bright orange. Very good looking car. And the Super is definitely very good looking as well. With these beautiful deep dish gold rims. And that is just stunning. Got the TH on the back. I'm telling you guys, the 2013 Super Treasure Hunt lineup is just amazing. We're five cars in, and the best is yet still to come, guys. Just beautiful. Love the hood scoop, guys. Okay, next one is definitely one of my favorite. Well, I mean, I say one of my favorite, but I, I just love a lot of Mustangs. But this one here is the 2010 Hot Wheels Super Snake GT500. This car I love. Always really liked this car. I just love the way it looks. The color and the stripes I just think are good on this car. I think Hot Wheels did a good job. And that's the main line. But the Super Treasure Hunt really blew me away with this car. Now we have the side mirrors, which is really cool. I don't think a lot of cars in this year got the side mirrors, guys. But this one, they got it. As I said, I really like this casting. Honestly, I love this 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 year's Super Treasure Hunt. Right here is the Super, guys. And I just love this Super. Now, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But it just looks bad. I love it. Crazy looking car. The Super Snake, guys. And it got a big difference from the regular to the Super. But they're both nice castings. Next, we have another low rider. And a nice one of that fact. We have the 64 Buick Riviera, guys, in this purple. And it looks good in this purple. The striping is nice. Got the pipes in the back. That is just a really cool looking low rider, guys. And the Super Treasure Hunt. Is definitely awesome as well with these gorgeous mags and you see the hood in the trunk all got the pinstriping with the TH right in the back of the trunk that is one very sweet lowrider guys but not a huge difference as you can see with the color there is a difference yes but not a huge difference very good looking car okay now the next one on the list guys is the bone shaker in this pink And the Bone Shaker is definitely just a class casting. Okay, classy casting. And it definitely screams Hot Wheels. And this pink is just beautiful. It shines up bright, bright in the light. It's really, really cool looking pink, guys. But I'll be honest with you, the Super 
just looks amazing with the Spectra Flame Pink. Big real ride of tires. Which actually this one looks like it's coming off a bit. Might have to fix that. Hold on. Can't be too hard. There we go. Brand new. And looking good. TH logo right on the front. There she is. And this one's a big difference too, guys. Now the next casting is a stunning casting, guys. And there's only one in my collection. And I'm very surprised. I only have one of this car. And we are talking about the 62 Corvette, guys. Okay. And this one is beautiful. It is a gorgeous Corvette, guys. Done in this aqua. But the super treasure hunt of this car is very highly sought after. And is still a very expensive piece if you were to look it up now. It's still an expensive piece to get. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous super treasure hunt, guys. And here she is. In this beautiful Spectra Flame Teal. It is just incredible. Another one of my favorites in the collection, guys. These rims just do it all justice. And what a beautiful looking car. And you see the stripes up the front and the back again. Okay, moving on. As I said, this is a great year for the Supers, guys. The next one is obviously one of my favorites. You guys know that for sure. We are talking about the 67 Camaro, of course. In Summit livery. In this gorgeous jet black. And the hood opens on this one. Okay, so it is the 67 Camaro casting with the opening hood. Okay, and this one is beautiful. Always love the Summit livery. I think it's just subtle and really, really nice. And this 67 has got a metal base. Metal body. Kept to its original. And the Super is stunning. The Super Treasure Hunt got this metallic gray with beautiful five spokes, big thick wheels. And you got the big S on the top and the stripes down the front hood and your TH on the back quarter. And that is just beautiful. Now, the next one is a bit of a big casting. Actually, not a bit of a big casting. It is a big casting. And we have the... Will it stay? We do have the 2010 Toyota Tundra, guys. Okay? And this is a massive casting. Really jacked up. They got the sky, sky Tracker on the side, side mirrors. This base is plastic. Okay, I thought it was it was actually metal. It just looked a little bit like metal, but it's not. It's actually plastic. Red-lipped wheels, and it's just big. 
and she's going to fly off. Anyway, I'm going to put it aside, and let's get the super treasure hunt. And there she is, guys. Super treasure hunt. And that's a cool-looking costume, guys. Now, it looks like the Super Treasure Hunt got a dirty version. Actually, the regular as well. Yep. Big monster tires. All rubber, of course. Side mirrors again, which is awesome. And your TH on the back quarter. And there we go. Really cool looking costume. Now we have number 12, guys. It is the 71 Dodge Demon in this, I guess, uh, teal color with the white and green flames and yellow. Looking good, this one. That is a really nice looking Dodge, guys. Actually, this is, they call it the Demon, okay? But this is really the 71 Duster, guys, okay? And it looks good. And the Super is right there. And as you can see, the Super, now the flames are much brighter, TH on the back, and we have flames on the hood and stripes on the hood, which the regular did not get. But the flames are definitely a bit more bright. They stand out a bit more. And that's another good looking car. I'm telling you guys, huh? this uh, 2013 is not a bad year for the Super Treasure Hunts, guys. Not a bad year at all. Next in line, we have the Toyota 2000 GT. And this is really pretty as well. That is just a beautiful casting. I love this casting, guys. Did an awesome job on this car. And I don't think they've changed them much till today. They didn't need to. They hit it pretty good. And the Super Treasure Hunt is gorgeous. In this Spectra Flame Red, guys. And you see, as you can see, there's a stripe straight down the middle of it with the TH on the back. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous looking car, guys. And it got the front. Okay, they both did. Okay, the front inserted plastic for the lights. Here, I guess they're fog lights, really, I guess. Or it might be the flashers. Just beautiful. Okay, next in line is another Mustang, guys. And it is another gorgeous mustang okay and we do have the 27 ford mustang 2007 ford mustang in this gorgeous green now i say gorgeous green the main line the green is beautiful but this is another car that the transformation into a super treasure hunt is just phenomenal. Now, as I said, as a main line, this one looks beautiful. 
But as a super, it's always about what the wheels can do, guys. And here she is. This Spectra Flame Green with these wheels just looks awesome. And they added the hood stripe. Painted spoiler, black. And that's just a mean looking super treasure hunt. It's another gorgeous Mustang, guys. Now the last one for 2013, guys. It is the Ford Ranchero 72. In this metallic purple. Looking real good on its own. The bed is all metal. I mean, she's just a really, really pretty looking car. Now, did the Super Treasure Hunt change a lot? Well, let's see. There she is, guys. And the color did change. Got lighter. The mags definitely changed the look of the car. And this one also got a metal base and the TH logo on the front quarter. And that's a pretty nice looking super as well, guys. So there you are, everybody. That's 2013, guys. And as I said, this is it for the regular treasure hunts, guys. I will not be showing any more. I just don't have them. And I'm not interested in them. So from now on, guys, we're going to be looking at Super Treasure Hunt Tuesday, guys. All right? So till next time, be safe, be well, happy hunting, guys. And please, smash that subscribe button for me. Bye.